Hello guys, uh, welcome back. Uh, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on where you guys are watching this video from. Well, yesterday, David Doe was extremely lucky. Extremely lucky. And I'm going to explain, guys. You know, there's this new, this new signed artist. Who is, I think, the person is said to be Asake's brother. Well, the guy escaped a very serious accident yesterday. Serious accident, the car some assorted severally. So, according to what he posted, he said, Thank God for life. Only one God Father. 001 David O. New whip on the way. Make them try do lucky road. You see, me they try do lucky road. Thank God this guy not here put to him. Thank God not here put to him because. I do not think if anything happened to him, eh? Ah, David, don't matter for the rain. I know exactly what I'm talking about. You know exactly the narration. You know how the story will twist. You know how people will think that, oh, David, do hand did something. Another person don't buy for David, do hand. You know, all those kind of yeah, yeah, story that, that will be coming from the internet. And again, people do not believe in that story. We'll be finding it really, really hard to believe David Doe is actually innocent. But thank God nothing happened to that boy. Thank God nothing happened to him. Ah! If I say David Doe hard boy, he don't go wash, he don't go renew blood again. <laughs> yeah, so that would have been the whole story. That would have been the whole story. Thank God nothing happened to that boy. Thank God, I'm so so happy for that boy's sake. Ah, uh, on behalf of David O, because ah, you know, get as David O go to escape this one. How many there's how many people? How many people? How many people we have to buy around him? No, God will safeguard him, and we shall not witness any death around David O, if possible, sir. If possible, but it's impossible though. Human being must buy one day. Human being must buy. That is a gift from God. That is the covenant that God has signed with every human being. No matter how many years you have spent, you have spent on it, if you spend more than a thousand years on it, God promised you a day will come, you will test it. And no human being can run away from it. You know, that's a promise. No matter how would you magic how you buy life, a day will come, you will. Test it. A big up to. I'm so so happy for him, man. I'm so so happy for him. If not, the narration would have changed. The narration would have changed. So, guys, check out this video. It shows this uh, man or some group of boys, young boys, praying their pastor in church. I don't know if that is Reverend Father or is a white garment church. Praying the man, praying him well. You know, <laughs> but let us have it in back of our mind. As this guy is praying this man's money, there is one person somewhere, one grandma or grandpa, or young, yeah, elderly man or elderly woman somewhere, crying bitterly because someone has duped him. Him or her. I do not think if somebody they do real job like cryptocurrency, like trading, you know how difficult it is to do trading. You know the mental, the mental, uh, the mental thing trading uh, does to your brain. Thinking and thinking and thinking and thinking, uh, strategizing, strategizing, and yet you will lose your money. You cannot make money in trading and say you want to carry and go to church, go to spray like that. Not possible. Not possible. And you cannot do a, a, a cryptocurrency where you know, say, you need this profit, you, you have made this profit, so buy more currency. You cannot go and spray it in church like that. Not possible. The only boys who do such thing in church are internet fraudsters the one who are uh, who are busy scamming 
those young men, those elderly men and elderly women, young women of their sweat. They are the ones that can easily go to uh, go to church and be spraying money in here. Oh, and be spending money in here without calculating and strategizing and thinking on how to make more money. Me, I can never do it. If I'm a Christian, I can never, ever, ever, ever carry my money. I want to, to give her to pastor. Who be you, pastor? Who be you? If I call you for prayer, good and fine. I give you food job. We, we pray and I give you something. But God is pray. This is irresponsibility. Irresponsibility. I'm sorry. The God I serve, oh, if he's the God I serve, you cannot bribe him. You cannot bribe the God I serve. If he's the God oh, we all serve, if you know your God very well, eh, you will condemn this church, you will condemn this pastor, you will condemn the man. You won't say, oh, everybody is there or is there, they are on their own or they can decide to do whatever you they want. No. If you know your God, if you know your God, you claim you know your God that you serve. You will know if someone is doing something contrary to what God preaches. You won't say. Saying that is none of your business, like, no, it says like there are actions to take action, but if you say something wrong, you condemn it. Saying that is none of your business, I don't think it's anything different from a Jesus Christ disciple who denied him. You are denying God. You are saying you don't know God. I see. That's why some things I feel are contrary to God that I read about, that I'm still reading about, trying to know again every day, honestly speaking. Honestly speaking, I will just tell you uh, straightforward. You are wrong. You are not serving. You are not doing. If it's not, I say you are lying against God by doing this. Admit that what you are doing is wrong, but don't put God in it. You are putting God in it. That's why you see the guys praying in the church. You are mocking God, mocking the process. And say if that is not church, that is just a gathering of people wearing white. And uh, and just uh, acting rubbish, then I will understand. Okay, good and fine. But if you are if you are putting God's name and uh, singing God's songs, then I, I am forced to intervene to talk. I'm not fighting, but you are forced to talk. It's quite unfortunate, but uh, that is just what it is, guys. That is what it is. That's what it is, guys. Then now let's move past that. <laughs> let's go to America. Let's talk about some American superstars. First, let's talk about Blueface. Of course, you guys know Blueface and Christine. Blueface is engaged now, but he wrote something about his own mother. Ah! Just imagine a child condemning his own mom. Just imagine, guys. This is what Blueface wrote. He said, my mother is an Ashawo. Ashawo. Being married three times, three kids by three different men, and never married none of the men. Only random men she liked with a lot of money. So she could divorce and take from them. And at the end of it all, she will sleep. She's sleeping with a bomb every night. Sad story. Could never respect her as a woman. She said, he said, sad story is that he could never respect her as a woman. But you won't blame him though. Him alone know exactly what he is facing what he has faced over the years and what he keeps facing and all those kind of issues he has seen. So nobody should act as if they should be, they should put themselves in his shoes because only him knows exactly what he felt when he was small. Just maybe this, this woman was carrying men to the house while he was still a baby and uh, banging men in their house and while he will, he will be in the next room listening to his mother screaming. 
you know, all those kind of things do cause mental illness to which kids. Some make them wayward. You see uh, Blueface now doing all kind of uh, stupid stuff. It's because of the upbringing. You understand? It just, well, calling out his mom like that, of course, religiously, because we are African, we won't support it. But sometimes uh, I really think it's good is somehow with kids, children should be permitted to, to set their parents right. If their parent is doing the wrong, wrong stuff, children should be permitted to tell them, you are doing crazy stuff now. You are doing very, very crazy stuff. It's just that children are not permitted. You know, we are, you know they will twist their relax, relax, all those kind of things. Kids are not permitted to talk back. That is the the ideology. Well, I think honestly, I feel its pain. I really feel its pain, and I've seen. Uh, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna condemn what he said, but I think his words are harsh, and he shouldn't be talking about it on the internet about his mom like that. I think he should. He should have told her face to face and just move away. Just cut ties with his mom if his mom keep doing all those uh, nasty stuff. And not just only that, guys. Uh, rapper Tiger decided. Rapper, the Tiger, the Tiger decided to post some videos on his Instagram page, and he went naked. What I noticed was the tattoo. How can a man draw tattoo all over his body, plus his eyes everywhere? The tattoo artist may do that tattoo. How far? How can you see that to draw tattoo on a man's ass? How is that? How? How? How the matter to happen? <laughs> well, guys, uh, check Telegram. Of course, you're going to see the pictures there and everything. Well, it's a boy again. Have a wonderful day. Stay blessed.